the struggle that we see uh, so many families facing between the demands of, of work and professional life and the demands of home life uh, are showing up uh, in, in, on the balance sheets and income statements and culture uh, of many businesses. My name is Tamara Rubin and I'm the President and CEO of Van City Credit Union. certainly have a lot of young women in our workforce uh, who are struggling with the dual role of being a mom and contributing to the workforce. But you know, I can tell you the young dads that we have in our credit union are struggling equally as well. They want to support their spouses uh, and their professional careers, but they're finding it tough to take time out uh, for families to be able to balance their own work expectations. Um, it's, a, it's a daily struggle and we definitely see that. Uh, in terms of the issues that our staff talk about. When we talk about benefits, it's the number one thing that they identify, and it's definitely uh, on the minds of our staff. One of the questions I often get is, well, why, why should business pay attention to this? And as we've seen, we now have some concrete data that shows very clearly that it is affecting not only our current profitability, but our ability to grow in the future. If we want to retain and keep the kind of talented leadership that we'll need to be competitive. We've seen those statistics now that show that we've been able to quantify that the cost to Canadian businesses is as high as $4 billion annually, whether it's in turnover, stress leave, absenteeism, and what have you. So I think this is a very acute issue facing employers, not only uh, with the employee base that we have today, but as we look to the future. And as we look to try and get more and more talented young people, and we know there's going to be an international war on talent. You know, we're not just competing in the local marketplace anymore. There's so many options that our talented young people have. We're going to really need to focus on what we can offer that really allows that balance. To invite uh, all business leaders to really participate in this dialogue, in this debate, to really encourage a culture that supports families and works across all generations.